Hey there and welcome. My name is America Young. This is the Private Jet Flight Attendant Hub where we talk all things private aviation. So today I want to talk to you about the difference between owner flights and charter flights. Now some companies or some accounts you might go to and you're going to fly only Part 91 or what we call in private aviation Part, part 91 is owner flights or the other side is going to be charter which we call 135. So the difference between the two uh, part 91 owner flights, they own the airplane and there's no exchange of money. Whereas charter, that is part 135, there's an exchange of money and they are renting out the airplane. So there can be some safety differences between the two and the regulations, but we won't get into that today. I want to talk to you today about the service on both of those types of accounts and what to expect. Some people like one or the other. Some people love having a mix of both. I have my preferences, but I want you to find your preferences. So let's talk about owner flights uh, to start off with. Now, just to remind you, again, you don't have to, some accounts will have you do both. You're not always solely one or the other. There can be a mix, but every single account is different. So again, back to owner flights. Owner flights, one thing that I love about them is you really get to know the owner. You really get to know their habits, their likes, their dislikes, and it is far easier to anticipate their needs and desires before they even get there. And if you enjoy that predictability, that can be fantastic for you. Now, depending on the owner, say they have a house somewhere or a business somewhere, you might frequent one location over and over and over again. So you get to really know one specific location, or you might have an owner who has companies or business across the world or just loves personal travel. And so you could be traveling all over the place. So within the owner realm, you could have two different types. You know, you could have somewhere, you know, you're going quite often, or you can have an account where you just, you don't know where you're gonna go, there is some, um, you know, freshness to it and some unknown things to it. So that is working on a private jet where it's just the owner. So let's go over to the charter side. There's an exchange of money. They are just renting it out. So because they're renting it out, you don't know what to expect. You might not ever see these passengers again. You might not have ever seen them before. Now, one thing with charter, it can be thrilling. You're like, ooh, who are these people going to be? What are they going to be like? Are they going to be calm? Are they going to be rowdy? Are they going to be a, you know, a party animal? Or is this just going to be, you know, a cool, chill flight and they just want to sleep? You never know. Now, if you love showing off your culinary skills, this is where working charter can be absolutely amazing because every person is going to be asking for something different. So your welcome table can be different. Your spreads can be different. Your charcuterie boards can be different. This is somewhere that where you can really show off. Now, I don't want you to think that you can't show off with the owner, but having that diverse amount of people coming on board, then you can show off in different types of ways. Uh, another thing, you don't know how many passengers you're going to have. Are you going to have one? Are you going to have 14? Uh, there's just a lot of unknowns, but that can be fun for a lot of people. That can be nerve wracking for other people. Another thing with charter is you could be ending up in different places every single time. It's a lot less predictable in destinations. Whereas, you know, working with an owner, you might know, hey, we regularly go here. Whereas with charter, I mean, you could be Dallas tomorrow and you could be Timbuktu the day after that. You just never know. Another amazing thing that I do love about the charter side is you will often get tipped. Now, it's not every time, but sometimes you can get tipped and that can make a huge difference. Whereas with an owner, they're paying your salary, so most likely they're not going to hand you a tip unless, I don't know, maybe it's a Christmas bonus or something like that. But with charter, a lot more of those people are used to tipping. Now, I've seen anywhere from a $40 tip to a $1,000 tip. You just never know. Now, with tips, please always be sure to split those with your pilots, especially if you're a contractor. If you've only been on this airplane once, always offer to the pilots, hey, this is what I got tipped today. Did you get tipped? No, they didn't get tipped today. Okay, well, here's my tip. Uh, let's split this three ways, you know, and be sure to split that up with them. I have seen people who have not split their tips and those pilots take that can take that very seriously and be like, hey, we don't want this person back. They were not even honest enough to split their tips with us. Now, some pilots are going to say, hey, keep your tips. That's absolutely for you. You know, you're the one who did all the hard work. Go ahead and keep them, but always offer to split those tips. Uh, so it's just a little bit of a bonus to charter. So let's go back and just do a, a brief overview of the whole thing. So not every single account is the same. You are going to find some that you work 
solely owner trips, some can be solely charter, and some can be a combination of both. There is a lot more predictability with the owner trips uh, than there can be with charter, but you decide what works best for you. If you are just beginning in this, I don't want you to approach this as, well, I have to be just charter or I have to be just an owner because at this point you're looking for the experience. You're looking to get your foot in the door. So even if you're wanting one or the other, be open to both. Both can offer some amazing benefits. And from there, you never know who you're going to meet. You never know what crew you're going to be able to network with and be able to step into a position or a job that works best for you. So if you're curious about either side, please work both. If you have any further questions, let me know. I'd love to hear the comments down below. I'm always uh, free to answer those. Also, look on my website called the uh, thepilotcouple.com. And we also have a Facebook group called the Flight Attendant, uh, Private Jet Flight Attendant Hub. So check out both of those. Anyways, guys, have a great flight.